Oh, well, hello there. <laughs> welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. It's Alex here. You might be seeing the thumbnail and the title of this video and you're wondering what's gonna happen in today's video. For those of you that you might have guessed, yes, I'm taking you into two supermarkets in Malta. We're going to compare the prices from one to another, but at the same time, we're going to talk about the inflation in Malta in 2022. So how much are going to be the prices in Malta in 2023? And how expensive it is to live in Malta? This is a very broad question, I would say. I mean, it's a big question with a broad answer. You can't really determine the cost of living only if you go into supermarkets. But supermarkets and groceries, to some people, are collecting around 30% of their annual income. In today's video, Alex is taking you in two supermarkets, as I said already. I'm taking you in one, which is a chain, and we all know it. It's not a secret, it's called Lidl. And then I'm taking you in the biggest supermarket in Malta. I will also tell you why you should be using these two. Hashtag, this video is not sponsored by any of them. Basically, this is a video that I will be showing you of two supermarkets so that you can use depending on which area in Malta you live. Enough of me making blah, blah, blah in the intro of this video. Let's get the car and let's go to the first supermarket. Okay guys, so as I was saying at the beginning, I'm gonna take you in three different supermarkets and the first one where I'm taking you right now, it's the cheapest one and the rum roll, it is Lidl. Guys, I'm taking you in Lidl, Safi. People who are living in the south part of Malta, such as Safi, Zuri, Rendi, Kirkop, Imaba, they are using Lidl of Safi. And let's compare and check the prices there. And here it is, guys, Lidl in Safi. Opening hours, Monday to Wednesday, 7 a.m. till 9 p.m. Thursday and Saturday, 7 a.m. till 10 p.m. Sunday from 7 a.m. till 9 p.m. Alex in Malta is turning into Alex in Lidl. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, guys, so considering that Lidl have decided to make like a disco inside their supermarket, I have to do this voice over just for like about a minute. But meanwhile, you can have a look at the prices of what I have seen at the very beginning as soon as I enter in Lidl. Now we are having the fruits and the vegetables and I'm going to go slowly with the footage here. I did it even in a slow motion, guys, so that you can detect the prices of the certain items and compare them into your country how much they are. Avocado in Malta, it's 1 euro 49 cents, as you can see. Red currant. It's 1 euro and 99 cents, but I don't know for how many <laughs> grams, but anyway. Have a look at these prices, guys. Lidl tends to be one of the cheapest supermarkets in Malta. So in the next supermarket where I'm going to take you, the prices are going to be a bit higher than this. Stay tuned until the second part of the video. Now I'm moving on into the beef section, the meat section. These are the prices. And there is a burger that I really like. I think it was Spanish. Yep, this is the one. It was less than 3 euros and it was on a discount. And guys, this is amazing for the meat lovers. As I mentioned already, guys, considering that they have uh, here Disco in Lidl, and now I found opportunity when they're doing commercial to show you what I am obsessed with. This Austrian-German sausage or whatever it is with cheese inside. So if you're coming to Lidl, this, 10 out of 10. I hope I'm not gonna get copyright strike here, but I wanted to tell you something, guys. Mild cheddar slices, two euros and 75 cents. But the thing that I really love here, what I take for myself, where is it, where is it, where is it? The burrata, where is the burrata? Now I saw it somewhere, ah, no, ah, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> it's here. Burrata cheese, I hope you can see it inside, but it's like a, really good chunk it's 200 grams and it's two euros and 79 cents and now we have another necessity which is milk these are the prices skimmed milk is going to be 92 cents wow i never paid attention to how much the prices are this one is fresh milk which is uh, 96 cents and of course we have the lactose free which is 1 euro and 15 cents butter is 2 euros and 75 cents lactose free butter is 1 euro 99 cents and now we are in my favorite area in a supermarket the wine cellars when it's when it comes to little this is what i really like from here the moscato dolce rosato 
which is 3 euros and 29 cents. So you can see the prices guys for yourself and compare them in your countries how much they would cost. Let's just go down. For the beer lovers, Heineken is 1 euro and 59 cents. Check the rest of the prices around. I don't drink beer, so I'm not really into it and I have no idea how much are these prices. But this is the local one, Chisk. And it's 7 euros and 39 cents for the whole box. And 75 cents for alcohol free beer. Another necessity that we need to talk about is a natural water. We have the prices of the vegetables as well. Piccadilly tomatoes, 2 euros and 69 cents. Beef tomatoes, 3 euros and 59 cents. What's the difference between these two? I don't get it. <laughs> Onions, 1 euro 49 cents. We have mixed peppers, 2 euros and 29 cents. Potatoes, 99 cents for a whole kilo. Wow. And we have the Jumbo Fresh eggs discounted from 1 euro and 25 cents into 1 euro and 17 cents. Barn eggs for 1 euro and 79 cents and the previous price was 1 euro 89 cents. Wow, that's 10 cents. Woo, savings. Pasta is important for you to see how much the prices are. Fusili Gragnano, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, 1 euro and 9 cents. Just have a look at this guys, I'm passing through and I think it's time to leave. We did little guys, you got the information of the prices here. Now it's time to take you somewhere else. But I wanted to say something important, as you might have noticed even from the layout how it was. This type of little is one of those that you get used to the layout and you know where the stuff are and you can come and fill up a cart worth of 100 euros in a course of maybe like 10-15 minutes because it's small, it's nice, it's nicely laid out. I like the concept of the store. But now I'm gonna take you in another one which is called Pavi and get ready for a bang in this one. Come on. So now we are leaving the south part of Malta guys and I really like this roundabout here. It's uh, out of Safi, going to the main road, which is connecting Zuri, Imaba, Rendi. Yep. And the area where I'm taking you, it's more central. Now, as I mentioned central, Pavi, it's one of the biggest. I need to Google if it's the biggest supermarket in Malta. It's humongous. You will see it even on the video when we get there. But everyone goes to Pavi, guys. People who are living in Amsida, people who are living in Birkirkara, people who are living in Cameroon, people who are living in St. Julian's, even they go to Pavi. It's big, it's well organized, there is everything. I mean, it's better if I don't speak, it's better just when you go, when we go now with the camera and record the prices and also the layout of how the merchandise, they really did a well, good job. I like to go to Pavi myself when I need to go and do like a bigger, hold on, let me just put the, okay. Where was I? Ah, yes, I was saying sometimes when, <laughs> when I want to make like a bigger grocery shopping for my, for my house, I want to stock it up. Pavi has certain items that I use and today I need to buy a hairspray. <laughs> Let's go to Pavi. So, we are arriving guys, the good thing about Pavi is that they have a very, very big, big, big parking because even Zara Home is here. I'm gonna go up on the rooftop, hold on, Wheel! welcome to Pavi. <laughs> This looks like a hospital, <laughs> it's so big. Wait, where is that thingy? Uh, zero. I'm doing a wide angle, guys. Look how big this supermarket is. They have the body shop inside, accessories, monsoon, everything. Guys, I am so excited to be here but at the same time it's so overwhelming because i'm coming to such a big supermarket for only two things shampoo and a hairspray anyway 
As you can see, right down the hall, you have pets, baby care, butcher, cheese corner, cellar, fruits and vegetables at the very end, frozen stuff everywhere. Let's go around, we're gonna do this quick. I'm just gonna go to the, let's say, necessities and check the prices and also compare them with Lidl. So we are at the butcher and these are the prices that you guys can find. I'm still laughing the way I just entered in the previous shot. <laughs> okay, fresh Irish ribeye, 29 euros and 60 cents for a whole kilo. Mm -hmm. We do have the prices for the fresh chicken here as well, a whole chicken, chicken wings, chicken thighs which are boneless, there is the chicken breast with fresh chicken skin, 70 cents. <gasps> Stress. We passed the fish corner and now we are over to the healthy corner. Prices for the rice cakes, some expensive cookie box. Now here we have the peanut butter. Whole earth crunchy, 4 euros and 79 cents. And the coconut oil in jar, 11 euros and 5 cents for this huge ass jar. <gasps> wow. Pasta integrale. How much is this? 1 euro and 79 cents on a special offer from 2 euros and 15 cents. Woohoo! And now it's time for the fruits and vegetables section. And just have a look how nicely laid out this is, guys. So we have these red apples, 2 euros and 35 cents for a whole kilo, 2 euros and 85 cents for the green ones. 2 euros and 95 cents for these red apples which are with wax. Ah, that's why they're so shiny. But even these are shiny. <laughs> anyway. Oh wow, golden, yellow. How much are they? 2 euros and 55 cents. Okay, Pinkadilly. No, Pink Lady, Pinkadilly. <laughs> 2 euros and 95 cents. And the list goes on. I'll just pass by so you guys can have a look. Now here it comes the fun part, guys. So you remember when we were in Lidl, the Piccadilly tomatoes, they were 2 euros and 69 cents, if I'm not mistaken. And the other one were 3 euros and 49 cents. And here they're 3 euros and 99 cents for a whole kilo for the same damn thing. Wow, that's a huge price difference. And guys, here we have another price comparison between Lidl and Pavi. 1 euro and 35 cents is a packet of six eggs where in Lidl it was 1 euro and 17 cents. Uh, we even have a Chinese corner and then there is the bakery and all the cash points are there. 24 cash points. Wow. I'm not gonna leave Pave without showing you how much is a sliced bread. 1 euro 19 cents. Just pears delicious. <laughs> <laughs> 1 euro and 29 cents. Extra large white loaf. That sounds a little bit weird. 1 euro and 55 cents. Of course, we are not going anywhere without showing you the Maltese bread and the price of it. 1 euro 20 cents. I know I haven't showed you any detergents yet and I will. In Lidl, I didn't show you because I don't really like the detergents that they have in Lidl. But now I'm going to show you toothpaste. Sensodyne 3.95, Colgate 1.69, another Colgate 2.35. Hold on a minute, 1.69. <laughs> this Aqua Fresh is on a special offer, which is 90 cents from 1 euro and 79 cents. Maybe because they're not selling it. <laughs> and here we are coming to the end of the video, guys. I'm trying to record. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you got an information of what is the cost of living in Malta. I know this was more dedicated about the actual items that you will find them in supermarkets. I completely understand that. The cost of living in Malta is going higher up as any other country in the world. However, I want you to pay attention that in Malta, it went up for 7.40%, 7.40, 7 7.4%. Where the rest in Europe, it was above 11. Whatever the cost of living it is, guys, we need to spend our money wisely. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like it down below. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button as well. And until I see you in my next one, but not in a supermarket. Bye.